Hi guys, it's me again with the follow-up uh, tutorial to the last one we just did, which was our tracing of our image onto our cake. So now you've got um, an image here ready to roll. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and paint this in now. So I put my big thing, dirty fingers on that, but anyway, we're going to go with this. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use um, pretty much my favourite things in the whole world, which are Rolcom dusts. So I do a lot of painted cakes. Um, these are really great because I can use them to dust with and I can use them to paint with. So I've chosen a few colours here, just those four, um, and they're the colours that I'm going to paint into my unicorn's hair. So I always like to get my colours and line them up together to see how they work together to make sure that they don't look horrendous because the last thing you want to do is pick all your favourite colours, put them next to each other on the cake and uh, step back and go that that was just a really bad idea. So um, I always make sure that I pull my colours together and the Rollcoms are really great like that because I can put them all together and see how that colour story plays out. Cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of each of these dusts and I'm going to put it into my little palette. Now, there's a few different things you can use to mix these with. You can mix them with um, a quick dry essence. You can mix them with vodka. You can mix them with rose spirit. Um, the difference between them is really the drying time um, and how they react with the pigment. So if you're mixing them with vodka, that's all well and good. Um, make sure it's a really good quality vodka though. Otherwise, what you can get is you can get your pigments split. So if you've got a nice dark colour, um, say a nice brown, you'll end up with a bit of blue, a bit of green, a bit of red. Um, and you'll need to mix all that back in together to get those colours back together. Um, the other thing you can use is a rose spirit. Rose spirit's great. Um, I use rose spirit if I'm watercolouring with those edible art paints. It's perfect for that. Um, I also use it if I am painting metallics because usually you want those to dry quite quickly. Um, it is really great um, if you want things to dry really quickly. If you want to do a bit more of a blend and have a bit more of a play, then the thing that you can use is a quick dry essence, which is also made by Rockham. It's made to work with these dusts. So it's a, a system that's worked, um, designed to work together. And this is primarily what I use um, when I'm painting because it does give me some freedom to be able to blend my colours and things a little bit um, more than the Rose Spirit does. But for today, I am actually going to use some Rose Spirit um, because I do want this to dry rather quickly. So I have just put a little bit into a syringe. Um, you can use an eyedropper. I just do it this way because it gives me a little bit more control and I'm a bit lazy and don't want to have to fill my eyedropper up all the time. So I keep mine in my syringe and it does the job. So what I'm wanting to do is to mix these colours in. Now, the stronger your colour, the stronger you want it to be, the more dust you use or the less liquid you use. Of course, the more liquid you put in, the more likely you're going to end up with a watercolour. Um, and it's going to dilute that colour down. How awesome are these colours? Seriously. Alright. Alright. So I've got my colours there mixed together. You can see they're on my cake. And now because I've got this transferred in here already, this is from an original sketch that I did, all I'm going to do is I'm going, I've got my original image here. It's always nice to refer back to your original image, even if it's only black and white. Um, it will give you some guidance if your lines haven't come out completely clear. It will give you some guidance to go back to later on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in with these colours. And I'm going to fill out. It's essentially when you've got a really clear image like this, it's a paint by numbers exercise. So there's not really a lot you can do to stuff it up at this point. And all of these lines, as I said in the previous tutorial, um, all of these lines, these are quite dark because I used a quite a, a heavy graphite pencil. Um, it doesn't matter because I'm actually going to go back in at the end of this and um, once all my colours in, I'm going to use some edible art black um, to do a, come in and do some outlines. So it's not going to matter. Um, if you didn't want them there, then you can you can erase them with a little bit of uh, Rose Spirit again, which is a really great eraser. Or you can um, just use a softer pencil and you won't get the great dark lines like I have here.
All right. So this image here comes down off the side of my cake there. So what I'm wanting to do is just continue that design down here. And I'm just going to freehand that down the side of my cake. Just like that. And again, just coming down the side here a little bit. So that is my unicorn done. I'm going to paint my unicorn just a little bit of shading with some special silver. So same rule applies, taking a little bit into my palette, taking a clean paintbrush. beautiful metallic these are cool these colors so I'm just gonna blend in over the top of that shading that's already there with a little bit of silver So the tiniest little bit on my brush there is just all I need to give it a little bit of shade. And again, I'm not worried about those graphite lines because I am going to paint over the top of there in a minute. All I'm doing is using that silver. over the top of those just to give it a little bit of point of interest more than anything else again I'm just going to take that down the side a little bit just to give it a little bit of interest on the side of the cake all right, all right so we need super gold There, I got a bit carried away with the rose spirit. And I'm going to put gold in here. It's not really a unicorn without a gold horn, right? Alright, now that's going to dry pretty quickly because I've used rose spirit, but I am just going to let it sit for a little while and then I'll come back and do the black outline. Ahoy, I'm back. All right, so it's dried a little bit more. And all I'm going to do is use the Edible Art um, black paint. These paints are really great. 
um, they're super um, concentrated so if you wanted those really strong colors I use these all the time if I'm wanting um, like black outlines or white outlines or strong white or black colors um, there you go to absolutely um, I also use them if I'm if I'm you know watercoloring. I did a other watercolor demo with these earlier, so they're really versatile. Um, they're also really good because they come in a bottle. You don't have to mix them with anything. You don't have to do anything. So um, really cool, really cool product. An Australian product too. The chick that makes these is pretty awesome. So um, recommend these highly. Uh, the only thing is to make sure that you shake them really well and make sure you pour it into a palette. Don't think you're clever like I do sometimes and take the lid off. Um, and dip in because you will knock them over you will spill them um, I do it all the time um, I've bought lots and lots of these but only <laughs> probably use probably three or four bottles um, I've bought about nine or ten so um, try not to spill them on your bench because it will not make you popular for the other people in your house all right so what I've got is I've got some black edible art paint I have got my um, triple uh, sorry double zero paintbrush which are my favorite paintbrushes um, and I get my paintbrushes from lollipop cake supplies as I get everything um, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to use this black to go around here and just to, not to give it a, a crazy I don't want to do a solid line I don't want this to look like a cartoon but I am going to use just the tip of my paintbrush and a little bit of this paint just so you can see to go in here and just to give it some definition and it'll also act to cover up some of that graphite that's still there from before so it will just make a um, kind of doing this back to front here will just give it a little bit of extra definition which is what I want Oh, I've made some mess here. All right, so I've just noticed that this is probably from my big fat finger here smudging it. So, to clean that off. Rose Spirit. Never happened. I'm a little bit clumsy. All right, so I'm gonna just take this down now, down the side here where I brought the paint before. Just wanna give it kind of a bit of a whimsical kind of feel here. So I'm not being too particular with my lines. Whimsical feel. And that, is pretty much good you can leave it as it is ready to go um, I like to do a little bit of a flick on mine so I'm going to just show you how I do a little bit of a flick on my cakes I like to use a toothbrush I did this previously on my galaxy cake I'm just going to do a little bit and a little bit of pink and purple because they seem to be maybe a little bit gold too All right, I'll start with the gold first and take it onto your paintbrush and then just give it a little bit of a magical flick. Take it down the side of my cake. Alright. I'm going to mix that straight into the pink. Tiny little bit of pink on there. It's kind of cute. Tap off some excess there. Because you do need quite a lot of paint on your paint on your toothbrush to do a decent flick. Um, probably not as much as I've used there. There you go, and that's my finished unicorn cake. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed that. Um, any questions, message me, and I'll um, see you in the next one.